Right, we're looking at shading regions in this particular video. So first of all, we've got to work out what the lines are that are enclosing this shaded region are. So working my way around, this line here, where it's a vertical line and goes through the x-axis at minus two. So this is the x equals minus two line. Again, we've got a vertical line, so it's x equals, and one is where it goes through on the x-axis. Horizontal line here, y equals three then, because it goes through three on the y-axis. And another horizontal line, don't worry about the dotted bit, okay, but it goes through minus one here. Okay, now, in order to write some inequalities here, I need to just rewrite all of these down here as I go, but without putting the equals in. And you'll see why, because that's where the equals is gonna be replaced, sorry, by an inequality sign. So we've got y and minus one there. Now, compared to where the line is, the shaded bit is just to the right of my line, which is greater than my line. And because it's dotted, that means it's just greater than. Compared to the x equals minus, uh, sorry, the x equals plus one line, I should say, the shaded bit is below the line, sorry, not below the line, to the left of the line, I should say, okay, which means it's less than, all right? But because it's a solid line, we're gonna have it as equal to as well, okay? Y is three, the shaded bit is below the line, okay, so that's less than, and it is a solid line as well. And here, compared to the y equals minus one line, it's above the line, so that's greater than, and because it's dotted, it's just greater than. Now, in order to fully complete this question, we need to combine the two x inequalities and combine the two y inequalities, and that's easier than it sounds, actually. So, I've got x and y is the first thing I'm gonna write. The lowest number here is minus two, highest number is one, lowest number is minus one, highest number is three. Now the same inequality signs, in a sense, are gonna go next to it. So it says x is greater than minus two. So because the minus two is now on this side of the x, the inequality turns around there, and there we go. It's the same, because that's equal to, all right, that's equal to there. That's not equal to, so it's not equal to there. So what that's saying is that the shaded bit is between these two lines. Same thing here, this is gonna go like that, all right, it's not equal to as well, that is equal to as well, and that is saying that the shaded bit is between those two lines, okay? And that would be the full marks for that particular question. Now, if I look at the second one, I've actually got to draw these on here. So, I'm gonna draw the x equals minus two line, and it's gonna be a solid line because it's equal to as well, so a solid line, Right, up through minus two, and it says it's greater than or equal to minus two. So I'm gonna be shading this side of the line, but I'm not gonna shade just yet. Now, I've got um, y, uh, minus one, sorry, is less than or equal to y, which is less than three. So I'm gonna draw the line y equals minus one first, and it's a solid line because it's equal to as well. And then I'm gonna go, so that should be uh, minus one. And here, this isn't equal to, and it's gonna go through three on the y-axis, but it's gonna be a dotted line going through three. So I'm making sure when I sketch these graphs, okay, I'm putting the relevant information in there. Now, the bit I've got to shade is greater than to the right of the x equals minus two, so it's gotta be this side, and it's gotta be between these two, between these two. So the bit I'm actually gonna shade is in there, all right? Now, key thing to remember is draw the lines first, all right? Dotted lines are just greater than or less than, solid lines are greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus two x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, 
and say x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.